Lesson 6-4, domain and range. Now, domain and range is something that we've covered before. We're just going to hone in and start doing it for continuous functions. So back in unit one, we did discrete, which is where we had scatter plots. And we had to find the domain and range of that. Now we're going to do it on lines, curves, any sort of thing. So I could have, have something that looks like this and ask you to find the domain and range of that blue one. Or I could do some sort of squiggle and ask you to find the domain and range of that squiggle. You'll notice down here as we get towards the bottom, we've got all sorts of different stuff that we're handling on domain and range. So let's go ahead and get into it now. You should have already done at least part of the Desmos activity. And you noticed on that that our domain was always in orange and our range was always in green on that activity. I'm going to keep up the exact same, um, exact same color coding as we do this entire thing. So our domain is all of our X's and our range is all of our Y's. Now, first, let's go ahead and talk about just general inequalities. Okay, whenever I ref refer to this today, I'm going to talk about small is bigger than, I'm sorry, small is smaller than big. <sighs> because we all know this, um, that, that the small thing goes on, these, on, on this side of the alligator's mouth. Alligator's eating the bigger thing, but it'll just be easier for me to ask you what's small and what's big as we get down towards our graph later on. So... When X is on the big side, okay, because the alligator is eating the big side. When X is on the big side, we say that X is greater than and that X is greater than or equal. Now I know that you already know that. Today it becomes very, very important for you to understand the difference between greater than and greater than or equal to. Okay? So remember that anytime we have things like open dots on our number line, if we were to put a four here and then circle it and then draw it going this direction like we had before, then remember that on this one, 4.00000000001 is a solution to this inequality. 4 is not a solution. Because 4 does not count anything bigger than 4 does. So the whatever is um, just greater than, that does not work. Now, on the same token, when x is on the small side, We've got x is less than, and x is less than or equal to it. Now, you probably noticed when you were doing that Desmos activity or when you look down at the bottom, we've got open dots and closed dots. Okay, same idea as with these style of graphs. An open dot means that the point... does not count, does not conut, count, Let's spell it right, O-U-N-T, point does not count. A closed dot means the point does count. And when I say count there, I don't mean adding one, two, three, I mean it's part of the solution or it's not. Okay, if you do not see a dot, always assume it is a closed dot. That will come really, really important on one of our examples in a minute. Okay, step one when we're doing these, and again, these will make more sense as we actually go through them. Draw the boundary lines left and right 
for domain and above and below for range. Now what that's going to end up looking like is on your, um, on your activity, you have something like this. And then when you first start off, it had those orange lines with a highlight in the middle. That's what we're doing for domain. Same idea for range. We've got our top and our bottom with this shaded in. Now we're not actually going to shade them. We're just going to be drawing the boundary lines, but that's what we're talking about. We say draw the boundary lines. Okay. Decide which situation we're using or um, situation we're using using the table below. Um, those are the four different conditions. You'll see what those look like in a second. And then label the boundary lines and write your statement. Remember, X is for domain. And Y is for range. So what I'm going to do is run through all four domains, and then we'll come back and run through all four ranges. Okay? So... First off, we're going to draw the boundary lines for domain, which are on the far left and the far right. So my far left point over here looks like it happens right there at negative three. The far right boundary line looks like it happens right here at one. Now on that Desmos that was shaded in the middle, but that's not really important right now. Okay, now I need to introduce you guys to the inequality sandwich. The sandwich is this, less than x less than. Or you also have less than y less than. The sandwich is going to be the foundation on which we build all of our domains and ranges. Okay, now for those of you who are copying this down using a pen, I suggest you do not write these until I tell you to write because there's going to be some erasing that happens. And I'll tell you when it matters, when to stop before you, uh, before you write in pen. If you're using pencil with a good eraser, by all means, follow me along. This is what I actually did for years to make sure I did domain and range right. I wrote the sandwich and then I erased something off of it to make sure that I didn't make mistakes. Okay, so let's go ahead and when we drew our boundary lines, now we're going to write our sandwich in less than x less than and everybody can write this pen or pencil doesn't matter i'm sorry what do you mean by how do you know it's less than less than yes less than always has the dot on the left of the single point okay now we're going to put the small boundary line on the left so my small boundary line happened right here at negative three. So we put in negative three. We're gonna put our, our large boundary line on the right where our large boundary line happened at one. So we put a one there. Now let's decide equal or not equal to. Well, look over here on the left. I've got an open dot. Do I get an equal bar or no equal bar? Open dot, it is not included. That is a less than, no equal bar. The closed dot right here is going to get an equal bar. So negative 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 1, which literally is interpreted as x is between negative 3 and 1. So when you think about it, what that means is for every single x in, in here, I could go down and draw a line down and find a corresponding point. Okay, I could go over here and draw my line down and find a point. If I was to get outside of this boundary line, if I was to jump over here to 2, I can look up and down all I want. I'm never going to find a point there. That's why this is called the domain. It's the place that it exists. Just like your domain is your house, your domain is your country, it's the place where you live, the place where you defend, all that sort of stuff, right? So that's why it's the domain. It's the area in which this thing exists. Okay. Over on number two, we're going to draw our boundary lines. So it looks like my far left is over here at two. Now, my far right is kind of interesting. Um, again, don't, don't draw this at this point. Whenever I draw that boundary line, the problem is I've got this arrow on the end. So arrow means it continues going. Does it really count as a boundary? No. So I don't even draw that at all. It doesn't count as a boundary line. 
Okay, so now I'm writing my sandwich. Less than x, less than. And this is where you need to be careful if you're using a pin. There's going to be some erasing here in a second. Okay, our small boundary, the boundary on the left, happens at 2. The large boundary, the boundary on the right, doesn't exist. It's not there. So we're going to erase out its corresponding less than sign. And now you can start writing if you're using a pen. So I started with my sandwich and I erased out the one that did not have a boundary line. Okay. Now we can decide, is it equal to or not equal to? Do you see a dot? No. If there's no dot, you assume closed, so it is equal to. 2 is less than or equal to x, or x is greater than or equal to 2. And once again, anywhere I go within this, this domain, I go over here to this spot, I could look up or down and find a place because that is within its domain. All right, 3 is funky. Where's my boundary line on the left? Well, I could, but there's an arrow there, which means it doesn't exist. Over here, same thing on the right. Doesn't exist. So, and again, pen users, be careful here. We've got less than, less than x, less than. There isn't a boundary line on the left, so we erase the inequality on the left. There's not a boundary line on the right, so we erase inequality on the right. And now it just says x, which means that there are no restrictions. X can be, it doesn't have to be bigger or smaller than anything. It's anything. So the way we write that is all real numbers. Or we had a special symbol for that we covered back in unit one. There's that fancy R where you draw two vertical lines and then draw an R off of that. So when there are no boundaries, all real numbers. Number four, this one's different because the graph is discrete, not continuous. Okay, discrete means it's individual points, continuous means it flows freely between them, sort of like a line or a curve. All you do on these is you write x equals open curly brace, and now list your x values. So I go to my far left point, it looks like its x value here is negative 2. The next point, his x value is 1. The next one's x value is 2, and then our last one is 3, and when I've got all of that, I've got my curly brace. Okay, going back to number one to do range. We're going to do the exact same thing, except we're going to be using y inequality sandwiches. And this one's safe for everybody to write right up front. Now, the difference for range is that we're not talking about x values, now we're talking about y values. So, we draw our boundary lines at bottom and top. Now I got to say on those yellow or on those green lines, what's the small one? I've got negative four and I've got zero. Which one's the small one? Small goes on the left, big goes on the right. And now I need to think through equal to or not equal to. Look at the four or the negative four down there. Do I see a dot right here? No. So I assume closed, which means equal to. Now I go up to the top, and I see that this guy is open, 
which initially tells me it doesn't get an equal bar. However, I have to look across the entire line. What about this point right here? Right here at the origin, zero, zero. Does that one have a dot on it? Well, on y'all's, mine does now. No, so we assume that it is closed. And so if, the, if basically you've got these two conflicting, conflicting things where you've got an open and a close, of the, both at the boundary line, the closed wins. So it's negative four is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to zero. And now all the people with pins, you can go ahead and write that. All right, number two, same idea. We're doing top and bottom. So our top line is here at negative one. My bottom line, you know, should have been down here, but again, that arrow points down as well. So this does not count as a boundary line. So let's set up our line or our inequality sandwich. Now on the small side, the small y, what's our bottom boundary line? Not one, so I put, or I erase the inequality. The big one, the one on the big side, top is negative one. And now, equal to or not equal to? No dot means equal to. Okay, number three. This is going to be the exact same thing as before. Even though this guy is pointing mostly right, it's also pointing slightly up. It's also pointing slightly down. And so this guy continues on and on up forever, continues on and on down forever, does not have a boundary line. So this one, again, gets all real numbers. Now, there will be times when you have things that have a domain of all real numbers, but the range is not, or vice versa. Uh, an example of that would be something like this. And we'll cover this exact shape a lot next semester. That's called a parabola. And so if this shape, or if this vertex, I'm sorry, was at um, 3, 1, then my domain, since it goes on and on left forever, left and right, the domain would be all real numbers. But the range, whenever I wrote my inequality sandwich, it has a bottom right here at three. However, there is no top. And so, and we also have to put the underline. So we get three is less than or equal to y. Or y is bigger than, bigger than, greater than or equal to three. So they don't have to go together. Okay, number four, you can probably guess this right now. All you do is you list the y values and you only list each one once. So we go up and we see this guy, his is at two. Now this one's at two, that one is also at two, but we only write the two once. Now we go up and we see this one is at three, and so is that one, but again we only write it once, so we just close off and we are done. All right, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and finish up your Desmos. Your grade today is based on the Desmos assignment. So get that finished, all 26 slides. Yes, you have to answer the questions. Yes, give me feedback on everything. And I will grade that when we are ready. As it is, you guys have a great day.